Hello everyone, welcome back to another session of, I had to stop and think for a minute, I'm not going to be doing a page today, but it is another part of doing this particular book, and I thought it was time we did something with the front. So, I've got some things here that I want to put on, and I've got the page from last time marked up, because I want to write along the border here the name of the book. And I'm going to do that in Sharpie, so it's going to be a little bit of my handwriting. But uh, before I do that, let's get some gluing done. So I need to put some double-sided tape on the back of here. There it is. I got organised and put it away, and then I couldn't find it. Isn't that just about where everything goes, though? do such a good job of tidying up after yourself uh, when you've done some busy work and then you forget where you put things. Well, at least I do. You know, I'm not the, the tidiest person in the world at the best of times, but when I do get tidy, <laughs> it, um, it leaves me a little bit shell-shocked because I can't find a thing. You know, I'm one of these people who work best in organised chaos which is what people would say if they saw my table here. Oh, it's organised chaos. It's okay. Yep, because I know where ro roughly everything is. Most of the time. There are some things that elude me. But not for long, because I can always find a substitute. So I'm being heavy-handed with the tape this time round. Because I need it to stay put. And after I've done the taping, I'm going to cover it with some water glue. Okay, trim off these little corners, because I don't want them sticking to everything on the outside of the book. Don't you love it when double-sided tape gets a mind of its own and does its own thing? Just when you don't need it to? Oh, look, I went all crooked there, so I've got to trim that off as well. That's going to be fun. Double-sided tape loves to cling to whatever you're trying to use to cut it with. I get that off my fingers over here. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. We've reached floor number 10 out of 20. So far, so good. Oh, that went rather well. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> Not so happy trying to get it off the fingers, though. Or off the blade of the knife. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, we'll get rid of these so that they are out of range of harming anything and getting stuck down onto where they shouldn't do. Now, beautiful cyclamens, and they go in really, really well with the, the pastel shades in this book. Absolutely stunning. Now, I'm just going to lift this up this way, and the same with the other piece. So I don't need them sticking down all the way yet. Although, hang on a sec, if I do it, yeah, okay, let's take all these off. do it a little differently than what I had in mind. I was going to put all of the sides down apart from top and bottom and then put the, the little doily pieces underneath and then stick them down with the tape. But I've got another plan in mind now. I'm still going to use the double-sided tape and the doilies. I'm just going to 
so that I can move it down a little bit so that both parts of the doily look even okay that's cool now I'm going to get my paintbrush oh <laughs> I just tipped over the whole container that was super smart excuse me while I go diving to to save my soul here. <laughs> okay, let's put you over there for now. Okay, uh, let's get a piece of paper under this this time. I remember last time I got glue all over my mat, and whilst it's a silicone mat, uh, it's a lot easier, I think. need this glued on before I glue the other side of it. Okay. Turn it around and hope I don't stick my arm in it. these long-handled paint brushes. It means I'm not putting my arm across in front of the camera and all you're seeing is arm because that wouldn't be a good look either. Okay, now I'm going to put this back together because I may not be able to do the gluing on the outside while this is still damp because it might just move it out of place and make a big mess. close attention to what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, this one. Oh look, I must have used this dressing there because some of it has come out on the, the serviette. That's okay though. It's no big deal. Because these, uh, these little pieces of serviette are, oh not serviette, doily, are so wet with paint, with ink, sorry. No, let's try, third time lucky, it's glue. 
Ruth, it's glue. I am going to have to let them dry. So I will paint, I will glue them later. And when you come back next week, it will be looking prettier. Well, it will look more stable. Let me put it that way. Not so much prettier, but more stable. Now, a sharp. I'm going to leave that alone as much as I can now to dry. And along the spine, let's see if I can get my writing at least looking neat. stop and, and think what I'm doing. Now RMB are my initials and 24 is a year I start a year I'm going to finish this. Yeah. So there we go. Fabulous florals. RMB 24 and now we're going I'm going to put this aside and just let it sit to dry. Because I can't do anything until that is 100% dry otherwise these are going to break. Because they're fairly fragile when wet. All right, my lovelies, thank you very much for joining me. I will catch up with you in the next video. Take care. Keep smiling. Bye-bye for now.